Hello there children, this is Mama Morgan and this is Boyish Figure. And for today's episode of the 12 Days of Anime, that's my reflection, um, I am going to be talking about the Fate series. So, obviously another anime that did not come out in 2016, but one that I watched in 2016 was Fate Zero. And, ooh, I gotta adjust myself, hold on. Ooh, there we go. So, um, I actually sat down and watched um, Fate Zero with Max this year. Now, Max has watched Free Zero Many a times, many a, many a, many a times. I gotta bring my hot chocolate here. Too many cups of coffee. Um, Max has watched ReZero many a time, not ReZero, <laughs> Fate Zero. Max has watched Fate Zero many a times already, like countless times, he says. And um, I really enjoyed it. It's it, it's another, you know, show, show in anime where it's like boys and fighting and all that. But um, this one was, um, Really interesting. Um, so for the Fate series, they take um, historical people who have done a lot in this world for like kings and queens and adventurers and scholars and all that, um, and they make reincarnations or reinventions of them, I guess, or retellings of a person that manifested them. And um, for instance, we have. Um, Ooh, I don't. I, it's been a long time since I've watched the Fate series. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think about how this was done. Um, you have the Lancer series. There we go. So you have um, you have a group of people that are broken up by classes called Lancers, um, Archers, Knights, Warriors, all that, and they're all trying to become the king. And I just built my hot chocolate. Um, they're all trying to be the king right now of this battle. And they're all in this giant battle, and that's what indicates what who becomes the king. Um, it's a it's really interesting. You have like you have a bunch of different classes, and um, they all outweigh each other. This one's better at that one, kind of like how Pokemon does. You know, what I mean, like the basic rock paper scissors kind of shit. Um, it was it was really amazing. High impact, high action animation, beautiful animation. There was never a time in this series where I was like, ooh, that was, mm, that's not cute, mama. No, like, honestly, the animation this whole time was just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous animation. Um, the plot was really good. Um, you have Max's anime figure, Babe, with Saber. Saber is pretty much your main one that you follow throughout this series. Um, she is replicated from King Arthur. It's really interesting. I really, again, I really enjoyed this. Um, it's just been so long since I've watched it. I'm kind of losing, kind of losing to what will what happened one day. Don't get the day the dunce. Um. So yeah, it's just it's a um it's kind of like a battle royale. It's kind of just like a battle royale of um people all trying to become the new king of this world, and how they will do it is that they all fight each other to the death, and it gets. At the end of the series, you find out who's the winner, who wins, who stands above them all, and then it turns out, I think it's like every four years or every six years, something like that, kind of like Olympic-y kind of stuff like that, um, you find out that it restarts again, and then the battle happens once again, and that's where Fate Stay Night comes in, and I am only like three episodes into that one, but ReZero was so good. Highly recommend that you guys watch this series. Um, I'm trying to finish it. It's my goal to try to finish it by the end of this year. But there's a lot of episodes involved in this one. It's a really long series. Really good if you want something that's long-lasting and not just your basic 11 or 12 episodes. I give Fate Zero an easy 9 out of 10. Super great. Love the plot. Love the action. Love the animation. There was never a time where the animation was bad. Like, really, really recommend it. I only give it a 9 out of 10 because, like, um, they kill off the best characters. Just saying. Just saying. But, yeah. Um, that was fate, you guys, and I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, this was Mama Morgan's 12 Days of Anime. Um, stay tuned tomorrow for tomorrow's episode. Bye!